The topic of matte versus gloss often comes up when we talk about varnishing. Matte means flat and not shiny. There's no glare, but the colors look a little bit duller. Then there's satin, which is like semi-matte. There's semi-gloss. And then gloss is the high, wet look. The one that shows the color depth the best, but also flashes back reflected light, sometimes impairing how you can see the picture. The choice of shine level is a personal one, but there's other ways that matte and gloss play out in art. Would you ever consider swapping out yellow ochre for metallic gold in your color mixing? Metallic colors are very shiny, very glossy. But yellow ochre is a matte color, and in Holbein matte acrylics, yellow ochre is very matte. It almost has a toothy nature, so it will grab dry drawing materials like pastels, Conte, and colored pencil. You can see the shiny metallic doesn't grab the color as easy. Matte acrylics and gessos are flat colors that make great grounds for drawing. The matte texture has tooth, it grabs the pigment. Harder to smudge, harder to erase. On the glossy, it just slips right off. Regardless of where you start, you can always change the shine level of your painting afterwards with varnish. Matte varnish has a matting agent, it's silica. It adds kind of a whiteness and it breaks up the way the light hits your art. Gloss varnish is very see-through. When it's finished, it looks very wet and glossy. See how the gloss varnish makes the yellow ochre look a little darker? and the matte varnish will dull down the shininess of the metallic gold. In oils and acrylics, some colors are naturally matte, like ultramarine. Other colors are naturally glossy, like phthalo blue. By adding mediums, you can change the shine level of both colors. By adding gloss medium to ultramarine blue, you can make it glossier. By adding a matte medium to phthalo blue, you can make it matter. The artist has full control over the shine level of their paints. Gloss surfaces are slipperier. Matte surfaces have tooth. Let's mix gold and drag it over top and then wipe away some of the paint. And you'll see that the color slips off the gloss medium, revealing kind of a, a stencil resist. Hold by matte acrylics are like acrylics, they're water-based, they're fast drying, but they're matte and opaque. They have great covering power and they're quite velvety to paint with. Acrylic based, means they can paint on paper, on canvas, on wood, um, all sorts of surfaces. I have also experienced that matte paints, maybe because of the silica, tend to dry a lot faster than other products. Because it's not shiny, matte paints are great for doing painting uh, time lapses on social media and Instagram because you don't have to worry about the glare of the lights while you're filming. There's no flashback. You can clearly see what you're painting. If you're interested in combining media or working mixed media, choose matte because they're toothy enough for pastel, pencil crayon, markers. There's no slip sliding around. Everything will grab. Posca paint pens are also matte and acrylic based, and they go over top of Holbein acrylics very nicely. So you get fine details. If you work quick, you can go back in and rub it with your finger to blend it while it's still wet to soften some of your lines and edges. Of course, you can do all of this with a paintbrush, but the markers make it fast and it's just a different tool and technique to play around with. If you enjoy the process of making art, why not try a bunch of tools? Working back in with colored pencil, 
you can see the texture of the painting panel coming through. And that's because Holbein matte acrylics are very fluid and they go on nice and level and smooth. So the brush strokes aren't in the way, you can still feel uh, the texture. And that broken effect is something I really like to juxtapose against the flat color. And then you have the pencil crayon doing its mark making. And the point of the pencil crayon allows for very fine detail so I can bring up those tips of the leaves just to give more interest. So a durable matte acrylic is a nice surface for doing a variety of drawing techniques and really adding a variety to your mixed media artwork. Choose gloss if you want the wet look, the, the shiny look, the rich deep color. And choose matte if you prefer bright, easy to see color with a bit of tooth for drawing. Are you curious about the surfaces used in this video? The brown paper is heavy stock, coil bound, perforated. It's from SMLT Art. It's for watercolor, but it works beautifully for matte acrylics. SMLT also makes a hardcover linen book. This has got watercolor paper in it and it is great for experimenting and idea capturing and you can use matte acrylic squash and watercolor on the paper. Next up are the Kenson Plan Air panels. Uh, these are pre-cut matte boards. They come in three different surfaces. Illustration is quite smooth, mixed media is medium tooth and the canvas board has that nice linen texture. Thanks for watching these materials and more at paintspot.ca.